when I'm not uh, producing anything, I feel like I am not dying, but I'm literally, I'm, 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 there's a void when I'm not producing anything. And perhaps that's why I go in all different directions because I'm pulled by different inspirations and I just go with it because they, that's what, that's what feeds me really. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a big part of my life in many ways. I taught art for 18 years with children. So, um, in that respect, I think I got a lot in, of inspiration from children and the way they, they approach art in a very basic and raw way. And I think that's, that's something that I got from the kids. I started making ketubas when my daughter got married about 15 years ago and um, I just decided I wanted to make her own her ketubah myself. I was a practicing artist doing my own exploratory work and this sounded really exciting for me and I did a lot of research about ketubas and just created her ketubah just out of love. And I enjoyed it so much that I decided to make more. Okay, um, this is one of my earlier Ketubas. Um, I was using the format, the same format actually, very repeatedly, quite often of two trees coming together, symbolizing the couple, starting in one place, separating, coming together and joining under the chuppah. Um, everything in here has got a symbol, obviously. Um, I think it's important to bring in as many Jewish elements as possible. The Torah being obviously the most important because that holds us together. And this holds the couple together, the Torah and the rings, the, the um, rings that are intertwining. I get a little lyrical, with, for instance, with the little lovebirds and um, the pomegranates, which represent um, uh, fertility. So the two pomegranates are fertility. And then in between, I intersperse little quotes, little quotes in Hebrew. In the candles, I have the, the blessing of the candle. Um, and very often in my ketubas, I will include Jerusalem because one should keep our eyes towards our origins, towards Jerusalem. And what else? In this particular ketubah, I've also included a couple of the species that are mentioned in the Bible, the wheat and the olive trees. So in this ketubah, this is a totally new direction that I'm going in. Um, I am exploring geometry using the compass and getting away from my usual format of being a little bit more lyrical but I can't get away from the trees so I've incorporated them right in here in a very small little detail with little leaves in a, um, in a decorative way. Um, this is something that we're considering using with gold leaf what I'm planning and hoping to do is these yellowish gold pieces are going to be gold leafed. So it's going to be um, really beautiful, I think, with the gold leaf. And that's about it. It's actually very simple in design. The colors are vibrant. And I think that's kind of a signature of my work is I like colors. Um, well, this is part of my Holocaust series. It's based on my personal connection to the Holocaust through the island of Rhodes in Greece, where my parents came from. They left before the war and um, all the family that was left behind, my grandparents, aunts and uncles, um, all were deported to Auschwitz and were exterminated. In fact, out of 1,700 people that lived on the island, 1,700 Jews, um, 
150 survived.